Hello everyone, this is the January 23rd logistics update and what we're going to review today is uh, station, talk about stations um, 16, 17, 12, and 14, uh, talk about their upcoming radio system and our radio purchase. Uh, we'll go over the MDTs and a couple other house cleaning items I'd like to discuss. Station 16 is coming along rapidly. Um, the roof is up on station 16 now. Uh, the, the floors have been poured, the integral concrete is there. Um, in another 10 days you'll start seeing the grinding that's on there. And we have the color board that has been uh, um, looked at and discussed. We're going to drop that at six, station 16 and let everybody take a review of that. Station 17, um, the stem walls are up there. They're going to start laying the block and the walls will start coming up at station 17. Station 12, in January, we had just negotiated the guaranteed maximum price. So we put that package together and we'll present that in front of the board on February 11th. And we should have a PO shortly um, after the February 11th date. And probably around March, we'll start working on the temporary site for Station 12, <clears throat> move everybody over and do the uh, um, tear down of Station 12 and start the construction there. So. We'll be, uh, you'll be seeing some movement very quickly at Station 12. And next Friday for Station 14, we'll be meeting with Willis Smith and negotiating the guaranteed maximum price for that. And then we'll make a package and that will go in front of the board also. Also, the 1st of January, um, uh, a, 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 a group of us from the, the fire departments from Manatee, Sarasota Police Department, and uh, Sarasota County, we went up to Asheville to look at their radio system. It's an Airbus P25 system. That's where we are migrating towards. And uh, we went up there to, to see how the radios perform. So on a P25 system, it's an open system on the, the user end, on our end. So we went up there to make sure that the Motorola radios worked correctly and to, just to make sure that all the Tate, Harris, and all the radios would still work very well. It's a neat system. It's uh, a lot more advanced uh, where we are. Um, with servers and switches and such like that. But um, here in the next couple of months, we'll be making radio purchases and uh, I'm working through the procurement process on that. And that's uh, quite daunting. So we'll be working on that now. Also, I know you've been hearing it for a long time, but we are finally there with the MDTs on uh, Tuesday. Intergraph will be here. They'll create the image. I have a new MDT installed in my truck. They're very nice. Everything's internal. It's only a CPU and a monitor, uh, external external antenna for the air card. Um, it will be a, a hot spot for the new EMS tablets. So next week we'll get that up and running to be a my truck uh, test over the week and then I'm gonna uh, select three test vehicles. We'll run a test for two three weeks and as long as everything's stable we'll start installing the new MDTs. As you guys know uh, Jimmy was out on surgery. He got his uh, knee replaced and uh, just today we made a selection for um, Lieutenant Chapel to take over for uh, Captain Laurie while he's gone. We hope uh, Captain Laurie has a speedy recovery and uh, we'd like to thank Wade and everybody else who put in for uh, the position. We appreciate everybody uh, stepping up to let us to continue with the continuity of uh, with our fleet and, and everything that Captain Laurie does. Also, if you guys can help Sonia out, it's uh, gear cleaning time. Make sure you put the right gear in place. If you don't know what it is, please call her. She will work with you, and we will get the right gear out there. But it makes it a lot easier on our end. With that, that wraps uh, up everything I wanted to say today. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. We appreciate everything we do.